It's just been one long bloody Calvary. Having a handicapped child. No question of it. But you come to terms with it. You've got to. You can't not. You can't run out. You can't commit suicide. You can't dodge it. You have to stay with it. If you love your child, you've got to get between your child and their infirmity until the last breath has gone out of your body. Thousands of parents in Britain today are bringing up handicapped children Handicapped physically, mentally, or perhaps both. Sometimes they decide to send their children away to be trained and cared for. Sometimes they keep them at home and manage as best they can. And what are you going to have, darling? You got your ice cream, have you? Would you like to have what are you going to have? There are no typical cases. Only individual mothers and fathers trying to find out what is best for their child, for themselves, and for the other members of the family. But whatever they do, these parents live under a constant strain that varies from day to day, but is never entirely absent from their lives. They are people under stress. I'm one of them. Our son Andrew is 14 now. But when he was five, we had to let him go into residential care. But every weekend, we go to the hospital and bring him home. Where's Whiskers? Want a hat? Want to be a cowboy? Here it is. I get it for you. 